When it comes to building a bike for pure speed, there's no better exercise than a TT bike. With the slimmest of margins having monumental impacts, every aspect of a TT bike must be considered and evaluated. With the Plasma 5 TT, Scott had a solid base, but with advances in design technology and carbon modeling, we went back to the drawing board with a simple goal. Build the fastest bike we've ever made, period. We wanted this to be the fastest TT bike with disc brakes on the market. Before starting the project, we had open discussions with our world tour partners and athletes to understand what is needed in a new time trial bike. The requirements were clear and set a framework from which our engineers and designers could begin work. Those requirements were the lowest possible drag at 55 kilometers an hour, maximum adjustability for the perfect fit of all riders, full integration at the lowest possible weight, and the inclusion of disc brakes. To achieve the most aerodynamic bike we could, we used computer modeling with computational fluid dynamics to identify new designs. Iterating upon each tube and each junction of the frame, the team identified several options to pursue. Moving into the wind tunnel, the team were able to measure the real world impact of the options. Using a modular bike, the team, alongside aerodynamic experts, were able to test different designs of head tube, down tube, seat tube, seat stays, and the junctions of each. This iterative process, while quite time intensive, also meant that we were able to benchmark each design not only against the previous plasma, but also against its competitors. It produced real world insights. For example, the team found that by using a shorter seat tube profile, the bike saved two watts when a rider was seated on the bike over a longer seat tube that had proved faster without a rider. The team also shortened the forks offset slightly, increasing the trail by 5.2 millimeters in order to achieve a more stable ride. While this isn't something that will deliver results in the wind tunnel, we do know that having a more stable bike will lead to a steadier rider position. A steady rider who is able to hold his or her aerodynamic position will deliver less drag and produce a faster time in time trials. While building a fast bike can start in the wind tunnel, it's equally important to consider the real world effects of those decisions. The second request was maximum cockpit adjustability. This is a bike that will be used by elite males and female athletes, as well as development teams, and needs to adjust to all of the rider's needs. The end result is the most adjustable integrated TT cockpit on the market. The team paid particular attention to this point as achieving an optimum position of the rider is fundamental for low drag of the complete system, is to say the rider and the bike. The adjustability that is built into the Plasma RCTT not only helps a rider find a perfect arm position to shield the body from the wind and be as aero as possible on the bike, it is also crucial in placing the rider in a physiologically efficient position to transmit maximum power and still breathe well. With that in mind, our team set out to create something that will allow everyone to achieve their optimal position on the Plasma RCTT. That system is the new Synchros Creston IC TT cockpit. It features three different base bars, adjustable height from zero to 145 millimeters with the extensions, vertical angle adjustment from horizontal up to the UCI limit of 15 degrees, lateral adjustment of up to five degrees to vary the distance between the hands, and a wide range of length and rotation adjustability for the grips. Overall, we are confident that riders of all shapes and sizes will find an optimum position aboard the new cockpit. With regards to the request for full integration, we also delivered above expectations. In order to minimize drag, it was important to incorporate a narrow head tube. However, the current systems wouldn't allow us to do this while ensuring full integration. As such, Scott engineers have created a patented design for a slotted headset that allows the cables to run directly through the headset rather than around it. This eliminates the need for the clearance of the cable going around the steerer, but also allows us to use a smaller upper bearing. When the final product was presented, it was incredible to see that we'd exceeded our own ambitions. In the end, we saw a 12% reduction in weight without sacrificing any stiffness. When measuring with a rider, the bike is capable of covering 40 kilometers at 50 kilometers per hour, 33 seconds faster than the previous bike. The focus on geometry and real world use means that we've managed to deliver a stable and responsive bike. And the focus on rider position means that we're confident that every rider will be able to find an optimal, 
physiological and aero position on the Plasma RCTT. This is the ultimate time trial and short to mid distance triathlon bike. This is the Plasma RCTT.